it's very hard. Call of Duty is getting desperate. That's most likely the title of this video, and I'll explain why very soon. Today, I'm going to be playing some of the legendary Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, more specifically the IW4X mod on PC. And the reason I'm making this video specifically is because there are already leaks and rumors about the next Call of Duty game in the year 2022 being Modern Warfare 2. What is going on? Okay, so before we dive into this whole thing of like Call of Duty getting desperate, because you know, that does sound kind of harsh. It's a little mean. I do want to preface this by saying that this entire video is based off of the idea that Call of Duty 2022 is going to be a, like a Modern Warfare 2 reboot, similar to how Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 was a soft reboot of Modern Warfare. So if COD 2022 turns out not to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, like a reboot game, then this whole video will have been for nothing. And I feel very bad for saying that Call of Duty is getting desperate. But the leaks and rumors about COD 2022 being Modern Warfare 2, they're coming from sources that have gotten a lot of Call of Duty leaks right so far. So we have a reason to believe that these rumors and leaks could actually end up being true. And given the success of Modern Warfare 2019 and especially Warzone, it would make sense that they would make Modern Warfare 2. But not this Modern Warfare 2. No, they're not gonna remaster the multiplayer. Fuck that. We just gotta remake the game into something completely different. Or at least heavily borrow the assets from the game that everyone loves, but make it different. Now you're probably listening to this and you're like, Eric, what do you have against Modern Warfare 2? For some people, that's their favorite Call of Duty game. And I know that you really like it too. So what's the beef? What's the steak? What's the tenderloin. Why don't you want Call of Duty 2022 to be Modern Warfare 2? I just want to say that I don't have a problem with the game being Modern Warfare 2, but doesn't it at least sound kind of desperate? I can't remember there actually being a time when we might have known what the next year's Call of Duty game was going to be so early. Call of Duty Vanguard is not even out yet, and we're talking about COD 2022. Is Vanguard going to be that bad? <laughs> I'm recording this on Monday, and I saw that they revealed the single-player campaign today. It looks decent. I mean, again, like, I don't think Vanguard is nearly as hype as other games. I don't think it's a bad game, but I think it's the reason why we're potentially seeing leaks for Call of Duty 2022. There's obviously potential that people don't really care about Vanguard that much, and they're trying to keep people interested by preemptively leaking the next year's game already. <laughs> I don't see there being any other reason why we should have access to that information, that we should know what COD 2022 is going to be. It's just too fucking early, man. There's a possibility that this could just be a preemptive way of saying, hey, we know that Call of Duty Vanguard is basically like an off year for us. And we know that Halo Infinite and Battlefield 2042 are most likely going to take your attention away from Vanguard. So in order to keep your attention, we're going to tell you that the next year's Call of Duty game is going to be Modern Warfare 2. You'll like that, won't you? Doesn't that sound desperate? Welcome to the Nuketown server. Yeah, Nuketown's my favorite map. This is definitely Nuketown. <laughs> what I'm curious to know is that if they make Modern Warfare 2 in 2022, are we going to get Warzone 2? Could we basically be seeing a new three-year COD cycle where we get three years of Call of Duty games that all end up contributing to a like a new Battle Royale game? I don't know if they'd call it Warzone 2 or if they'd just give it a different name, but I could kind of see that happening. At this point, it would be kind of weird to see Warzone get all of the Modern Warfare 2 guns integrated later down the line. And obviously, this is just like massive wild speculation, but again, this supposed COD game is well over a year away from being released. So everything right now is just 100% speculation anyway. It's not confirmed. We don't have any official facts, so we could probably all just calm down, me especially. But I thought it'd be interesting to talk about. You know, I saw the leaks and I wanted to give my two cents. My Modern Warfare two cents. <laughs> we already got the Modern Warfare two jokes coming. Yo, I need to put nuke streaks on. I don't even think I have it on. I have to re-unlock all of these. The iconic sounds of all the different kill streaks being selected. Do they? When you select kill streaks in Call of Duty games nowadays, do you even hear sound effects like this? Like, is it even a thing? I swear, man, the lack of attention to detail nowadays. I did not just load into Search and Destroy on a state. Wait, what? I'm trying to get bots on Rust just for shits and gigs, dude. <laughs> uh, what the f- What is this? Oh, do we have a Doinkly? Yo, he's in the bounce! That was fucking insane! I don't know if you guys could tell, but my name on here is Modern Warfare 2 Remustered. How does he hit these bounces? Look at him go! Yo, one thing I want to say, too, is that even if we- Wait, is this an instant trick shot? Oh, this is terrible. I should probably just not sh- <laughs> I'm watching him do the trick shot. I'm like, I can do that, right? <laughs> Check it out. That's the bounce. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. This guy doesn't even care. He teleported. He's on the grind. He's just gonna go hit more. You know what's so interesting about the idea of getting like another Modern Warfare reboot game is obviously people are gonna have concerns about whether or not it's any good. Like if it's gonna actually be like Modern Warfare 2. But the reality is that we know how it's gonna go. We saw how it turned out with Modern Warfare 2019. It's basically the same thing with Black Ops Cold War. Both of these games had so much content from previous Modern Warfare and Black Ops games. They're trying to bring back the nostalgia and keep people playing. But what's so difficult about all of this is that not everyone feels like these 
games are doing justice for like the originals. We could be rebooting Call of Duty game after Call of Duty game, but are they really ever going to be as good as the originals? I should not have to answer that. It's not to say that these games aren't good or that they're not going to outsell the previous Call of Duty games because obviously they will. But especially with Call of Duty Vanguard not really hyping up the community that much, you know, I think it's time that they could actually try something different. But yeah, who knows, man? Maybe one of these days we'll end up seeing Exo Cods come back or we'll get a prehistoric COD or we'll get like a zombies only Call of Duty. You never know. But I'm sure a lot of people have kind of realized too that it seems like the Modern Warfare and Black Ops subseries at this point are just getting milk. But instead of getting whole milk, we're left with like 2% or no fat milk. Or worse, almonds milk. No, I'm just kidding. Let's get that nuke on the bots. They'll never see it coming. I think this server has pre-patched models, but I don't have them on a class because I'm on a different PC. I just got this shit set up today. I missed the bump, 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 bump. The sound of nuking. I don't think it'll ever be replicated in such a manner. Why is this not getting any kills? I actually fucking died, dude. What's so funny about all this shit is that I still think one of the smartest things that Activision could do is basically make the Master Chief Collection, but for Call of Duty. Because we are going to get to a point one of these days when you're not going to be able to play any of these games as multiplayer ever again. And I know some people could look at that suggestion and be like, oh, it wouldn't work well because no one plays Master Chief anymore. But let's be real, man. Anyone who wants to play it absolutely will and can. And even if there really aren't that many people playing Master Chief Collection nowadays, you know, it could still work for Call of Duty. There's no way to know unless it's actually done. But even then, there's still thousands of people playing Master Chief Collection every day. And that gives all of those people the ability to play their favorite Halo games again. So yeah, again, in essence, Call of Duty seems like they're getting a little desperate as far as it goes for like what to actually come up with. They could either just do like the Captain Price Collection, make a zombies only COD game, or actually do something brand new. I want my chopper. Come on, the Pavlo just disappeared. There's another fucking Pavlo in the queue. Evil. Get a gun! Why are th there's no gun? Why can't I pick it up? Get it. Fuck! Imagine just doing this all day. Like, this dude's probably having a fucking blast just spawn trapping bots on Rust. Guy got 323 kills. God damn. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, people will just play this fucking game to death. It doesn't matter what year it is. It doesn't matter how many people are playing it or if there aren't even actually people in the game. Some COD fans just love these older games to death and they'll play them no matter what. As long as they still can. As far as it goes for these newer Call of Duty games trying to be like the older games and kind of recreate that magic, I'd say it's only slightly working. I don't think it's necessarily doing it for everyone. Oh, what? Well, that's not good. I need to get the rest of the DLC maps. I forgot how to do that. Oh, there's a zombies mod? I want the zombies mod. Give me the mod. I want to play zombies on here. Oh, this is so cool. This would be a fun multiplayer map. I've suggested this before. Just a straight line. They could call the map Spawn Trap. Best way to grind XP in camos. Oh, I'm in. Wait, alive as a deagle? Shit. Get a random weapon? Sure. Random weapon. Where's, where's my gun? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's random box. Yeah. I got the scar. I don't think I've ever played this mod specifically. This one's pretty cool. Oh, shit! Oh, God, <laughs> yo. He's got an AC-130. Just let him do all the work. This guy's actually dead. Shit. Can I res? How do you res? I don't know how to res you. I'm sorry. Upgrade the scar. Oh, that's like Pack-A-Punch. Okay. My guns are so weak. I just joined in here late. Oh, fuck. Look how close they're getting to <laughs> Come on, guys. What the fuck? Oh, there's the AC-130. Okay, okay. The super airstrike. I want the nuke. I want it. I want it. Give it. What? What's the nuke doing up there? What the f we got? What do we got? Come on. One man army. Did I see one man army? The mag. Wow. You know, if Call of Duty 2022 is Modern Warfare 2, I wonder if we'll actually get Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered. We already got the campaign and it's already been talked about that the multiplayer exists, but it just hasn't been released. They could just do that. It might be a bigger hit than a reboot game. I don't know, man. I just can't believe we're talking about this shit in 2021. Weapon upgrade. Where Oh, there it is. I got the scar barbecue. It's a scar barbecue. Why? What? Where? Is this Battlefield? Okay, but I think that's gonna do it for this video because I could just play this zombies mode all day. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this random Modern Warfare 2 video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want COD 2022 to be Modern Warfare 2, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need it. 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 I don